Today I want to tell you about the Kanmuri Bogu Bag. Jose, I practice kendo and welcome to kendo tips. But first, I want to say that I'm sorry because I have been having this YouTube channel for a little while and I haven't done much with it. The truth is that I just don't feel that I have, I don't know, the say or just I don't want to promote bad kendo out there and I'm very hesitant at what, what I share in this channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share some reviews of things and items that I, that I bought myself, that I have myself, or also some perspective, some point of view or opinions that people that I admire their kendo or that I think they have something of value to share, I will I will pass that along to you. I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you some of the aspects of this bag. Starting from the outside, the zippers themselves are just amazing. This thing are very sturdy. I have to mention that I've been having this bag for a little over, over a year and I haven't had any problems with it whatsoever no scratch, nothing coming off. The zippers have not gone stuck once since I have this bag. It is very spacious and the material is very sturdier. To me it kind of looks like Batman's um, armor, yes, right? It's very, very nice. One thing that I like the best is the pocket at the bottom. Normally I keep here Normally, I keep here my hakama. It's very spacious. If you have one of those thin layer or like very thin keiko gis, you can probably fit them nicely. If not, what you can do is you can put the gi and hakama inside and keep that pocket for like towels or extra clothes and just to keep everything separated. The next thing I, the next thing I wanna share is this pocket that's here on the outside is I have to apologize because this pocket is kind of dirty and it's deodorant, the thing that's dirty from, but still looks kind of nasty. So here, this pocket opens up completely and opens up here. I have a, you know, sand or whatever that I keep for my chinois. It has this pockets out here that's very spacious and pocket for where I keep the deodorant, I guess for pens or so to where I make notes. It has another pocket up top. That it's very, very spacious as well. I still haven't figured out what to put in there besides like ten of and stuff like that. Now let's go to the inside. So I was I'm gonna start by telling you that this bag it was very well thought out because See, I keep my gi in here. It has this little fabric that's attached to the bag that separates the bogu from the gear. I think it's great because if your gi is too sweaty, whatever, you want to keep it separate, it's, it's amazing. My whole bogu fits in this way, right? And here is what the bag looks like when the bogu is not there. It has these straps that helps keep the bogu in place, but because normally I go from home to practice, I, I, I normally just don't put them on. I don't go too much, you know, I don't walk too much with it. Um, but but when, when I do, I, I guess I'll put it on. The straps themselves are very sturdier. Again, I've been having this bag for over a year and there's no sign of wear and tear yet on it. And on top of that, it has that, that extra thing that I never use. I guess it helps you keep it stable. I never use it to be honest. One thing that I have heard about this bag is that if you buy the bag and the Shinai bag, apparently they attach together. I don't know how true it is, but it does have these, these loops right here that they're very sturdy or very, very hard. That I think that's what the, the Shinai bag will, will attach to. And on top of that, it has some uh, extra pockets on the side which are kind of useless to me because my, they're not completely useless, but then sometimes uncomfortable to put stuff in there because my, my dough comes out and pushes them out. Overall, I have to say that this is a great bag. It's, it's very comfortable to carry. 
uh, it's very compact it doesn't I had another one that kind of spread out too much so I feel like this one I haven't traveled with this on top of the plane but I feel that this bag will be easily put up on top of the plane um, because comparable to one of the roller roller bags that people always all people have I will link below some of the places where I have found this bag mostly I found them out of Tosando and uh, Rakuten market Rakuten market had a little bit cheaper but I think the shipping is like longer so I just decided to go with Tosando um, but but yeah I'll, I'll link out all the places where I found this bag a big reason of why I want to start this channel again is because I'm gonna be going to Japan in less than a month I'm gonna spend three months over there training and getting to know a lot of people a lot of dojos so I feel that I may run into a lot of different things that are all be interesting to share and so if you have any questions that you want me to ask somebody or any any doubts or whatever please send them my way and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible via video or message or whatever. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share and let me know what you think. How can I make this better? Have a good day.